guys as always welcome to the channel today's video is um just a quick video really about the color questopia company um as always in between my larger more difficult projects you guys know that i like to pick easier pages kind of color bar number sort of pages and i know a lot of you guys are big color bar number fans so i thought i'd show you these I, I would imagine most of you have seen the black background books uh, being created by Colour Questopia at the moment that have kind of are a version of their white line books um, just without that mosaic patterning in so they're more like a stained glass kind of version. Um, Colour Questopia very kindly sent me a set of books which I will be also showing you and because I didn't have any of the black backgrounds um, and was quite interested when they asked me what I would like to have a look at. Um, these seem like the best option really considering the vast stack that I already own of the white backgrounds because I do actually like um, drawing in the the mosaic white lines with my many many gel pens um, so I thought I'll do a, a full flip thought for you of these new ones so you can have a good look they sent me the camping black background book um, and I have of course had a go in these because I don't really think you can have an opinion on things until you've actually <laughs> tried them and this camping one they now have the 50 colour palette which makes things a little bit more interesting and uh, this this one I don't own this one in the white lines and I will be honest this is particularly cute <laughs> I'm uh, I really liked this one quite nicely detailed because although I do want to relax I don't really want something too too easy particularly to be honest um, if it's only got about five colours in it's not really going to hold my interest and I have more recently started kind of shading my pages in and adding some more detail to them just to um, just because I seem to prefer them that way a little bit really with just I do tend to automatically like to add shading to my drawings so that is that one you as always get a few examples of their other books in the back they did also send me their newest version which is the cactus and succulent colouring book and I must admit I saw this and thought it's not really my sort of thing but I really really like this one um, the page I've done so far when we get to it I really enjoyed I was a bit worried that it was going to be a green colouring book and I don't really want to use up all my green alcohol pens I don't know why but but it's really absolutely not it looks like this um, so I was quite pleasantly surprised really by how funky and colourful the page is and they have actually started kind of just putting in the colours that you'll need for the pages I think is it this one? it might not be this one uh, yeah I'm pretty sure they just put in the, the, the colour palette that you need for the page itself so there's no colours in there that you won't use these are very fun so there's that one and uh, I'll be keeping that for sure they then also sent me the angels book and I don't have this one in the other version either so that worked out very nicely and uh, this is quite unusual quite different this reminded me of the uh, the fairies book by is it fairies around us by belba which i really like uh, i have their color bar number version and i just thought this this will look really nice especially with a bit of shading i think that will really take it to another level 
Um, I must admit, some of the fun of these for me is drawing in the white line. So I really wasn't sure how I was going to feel about it. But I think because I have a bit of both, when I fancy my white line, I can do so. And when I just don't want to spend that long on something and I'm watching the telly, these are just perfect. Really nice and simple. And I've actually liked the colour palette in most of these as well, whereas normally I do change colours. I've not found them to be so bad. So... I've just got three more that they sent me. They sent me this fashion one. Uh, again, the black background. <laughs> I'm not sure about this one. This page. Um, and I do like this one. I think this one's a bit more 50-50 for me because I'm not all that into the modern fashions, although I do like this. Um, but obviously if this is right up your street at least you can have a little look at it oh, I think these are really fun I love the nice black backgrounds to these so that your alcohol markers don't spread out into your page I like this one as well and you really don't get that kind of bleeded effect around the edges so they feel very finished off, to be honest. Um, they then sent me this wonderful winter one. And uh, this one I like. Um, this is... I've only done one page in this so far. Uh, but this one is really fun. And I like that it is wintry without being Christmassy. You can take it either way. So it, it feels a bit Christmassy, but there's nothing overtly Christmas. Oh, she says, apart from this one, about most of the book. Most of it is just... Oh, two of them. Actually, I might be wrong. This is the one I've done. And again, this has got the 50 colour palette to it. Um... And I really like how that turned out. So fun. Doesn't take long. You could shade that in a bit if you wanted to. But I just really felt like it, it was enough. Enough to hold my interest for what I needed from it. Yeah, so it's just two Christmassy ones. I can live with that. And then the last one. I've had my eye on this for a little while. It was in my wish list, to be honest. It's the Space Colouring Book. Um, again, in the black background. So you can see I was very, very honoured to receive quite a few books from them. I thought I was only going to get one. <laughs> was a bit shocked when these arrived. Um, and I, I really like this one. Um, I am glad... This was in the pile. I think it's quite fun. And the plus side is that it's not all just black backgrounds. Um, like, uh, not bad choice, that one is black. Uh, we're kind of, this one's navy blue, dark violet and black in the background. So, and of course this one that I did already. So fun. Love this. And yeah, it's not just black, black. So... Very pleased. You always get that right fun effect on the back. <laughs> and of course you can still see, um, you can see, easily see your colour and colour numbers for the next page. So I don't bother going backwards with them. It, I can see them just fine for the next page. So very simple this one, but fun. I liked this one. Nice and easy. Little pages to relax with. And of course, you can change the colours anyway. If you don't want to do it all black, you can... Uh, I think that is actually orange and light orange in the background. It's so... Yeah, they're quite interesting, quite different. 
Um, so as we while we are on the Colour Quest Opia train here, I thought I'd show you some of the ones that I already have um, in the white lines. I bought all of these myself, but these are some of my favourites. I have Dragon Fantasy with the white outlines. I'm not going to do full flips of these. I'll just show you a few. If you want a flip through on any of these, just let me know. It's not a problem. I also have the Unicorn one, which is very fun. I have done one in here. This one's just very cute. Um, I've got the princess one. I haven't done any in here yet. Again, very, very cute. This is before they expanded their colour palettes, I think. I've got the gnome one. Again, I have so many, I haven't actually coloured in most of them. Very cute again. Well worth the use of your gel pens. I have this beautiful ocean under the sea and I've had this quite a while and haven't coloured in it yet. Bit simpler this one. I've got this beautiful hummingbirds. This is one of the first ones I got so I have actually done a few in this. Very fun. I do tend to change the colours slightly to what I want them to be though. You'll see I've got a head with my lines because I find it quite relaxing. And then possibly, this was my favourite for quite a while, uh, Fairy Magic. I think this is lovely. And this is where I started kind of experimenting in changing the um, line colours for things in the background. Um, until I got this one, which is now my new favourite, I love this, uh, Chibi Girls, I think this is fab, I've only done one in this, uh, but you can see what I mean about starting to be a bit more inventive with them, add a bit of shading in, I did the outlining green for this one, so fun, just thought, you know, a little bit of extra detail just to make them as easy or as difficult as you want to really. But this one's lovely. I'm glad I got that. I've got for uh, for the fun of it the love pug because this is just well you can't not can you? Um, this one's just very bright and colourful. <laughs> um, and then I've got this dinosaur one, which again I think I've only done a couple in here, but I love this one. Um, really like this one. These markers, they drive you insane. The oranges and reds are just an absolute menace for bleeding through. Um, that's with a blotter page and then afterwards when it's dried it's, it, it's kind of melted into the next page. I got this one as well which I really like. Witch Fantasy. We're nearly there now guys, I promise. Um, again, I've only done this one. But um, I do like this. A little bit more detailed, so I found these a bit more fun when I'm doing the gel lines. Oh, that one's going to be... That will be good. And then the last one, I've got this. Um, I think the newer version of this only says Halloween on it and the cover's different. Um, but I've got this Halloween horror. I really like this one. Uh probably my other favourite so I'd say Fairy Magic the Chibi in this one <laughs> definitely my favourites but you can see it's just um I've learnt my lesson I literally keep a page in front and behind for like a few days while it really really dries out just to stop it from keeping on doing it love this one so I hope that has kind of you know, informed you of your colour quest or your choices. I by no means, even with all these books, have all of theirs. They have so many different things available to choose from. And I'm pretty much I'm pretty sure that they are slowly coming out with almost everything in both options. So if you prefer the black lines or the white lines, the option is kind of there. Um, so I hope you found this useful guys if you did click the like button for me it helps me um, with content and I will see you in the next video thank you for watching